Hi, it's Cheryl here today. Today I am participating in a challenge for using trash to create treasure hosted by Coffee with My Sunshine and Heidi Sambal. And so you had to find something that was uh, you were going to recycle or trash and make it into a treasure. So I found this old watering can in my she shed and I decided I wanted to paint it even though I did like the patina I was trying to use tape but I decided to just put the tape on the bottom so I'm using some patio paint and I am going to paint uh, the edge white and so if you're new here welcome my channel is around the house with Cheryl and I do all things around the house to make your home beautiful inside and out and if that's something you're interested in please consider subscribing and hit the bell twice so you don't miss out when I put up new videos. So we're going to get this painted and then I'll show you the next step. So keep watching. So we're quickly putting this on here. It's not perfect. And then uh, I did paint the top part black. Uh, I think I just used some acrylic paint or I had some uh, wrought iron patio paint that I used so I may put this outside so that's why I decided to use the patio paint and so I'm just touching up the edges here okay so the next thing I plan to do is um, put some color on it so I had some chalk paint a lot and I decided I didn't like the way the chalk paint looked, so I used some other uh, patio acrylic paint that I had that's like in a, a turquoise color. So that's the paint that I'm using here on the edge, as you can see. So we're going to get this on here. And um, this was a fun project. I enjoy um, participating in these challenges for Trash to Treasure. Because I'm a hoarder and I always have a lot of uh, things I can redo to make them look new again. And so we're getting this paint on. And then after I get it on the edge here, I'm going to paint it down here on the lower half. And if you're interested in seeing what I did last month on the uh, Trash to Treasure, I'm going to link that video down below. Okay, so we're going to get this on here. And I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Okay, so let's let's get this paint on here and then I'll show you what happens on the next step. So keep watching. You can see on the bottom I had the um chalk paint, but that'll help seal it. And um, I did decide to paint the spout black, and I'm going to paint the handle black. So then I decided to uh, put some dots onto the white rim part just to give it a little bit more definition and not be so plain. I believe I ended up putting at least two coats of each color onto the watering can. So... I'm just going to go around and put some dots on here. And I'm just using the bottom of my brush. And usually you have to dip it in the paint a couple times to get two or three dots at once. But I like using dots. If you watched my last video on the trash to treasure I did some little checkerboards and dots on a metallic uh, sun that I had in my garden so we're going to get these dots on and there it is that's the uh, Trash to Treasure I did last month in the Trash to Treasure Challenge. 
hosted by Coffee with My Sunshine and Measure and Mix. So be sure to check out that video if you like that kind of content. Please subscribe. Yeah, I do, like I said, things around the house to make it beautiful inside and out. I have some de decor, some DIYs, and gardening videos on this channel that I think you will enjoy. So we're about finished putting the dots on this. And I'm going to put some more dots on... Um, the white part at the top. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna put some uh, teal dots. So you can see here, I'm putting some teal dots, just going across the top, to, just to break up the white paint. So I think this turned out really cute. Uh, I may later on add something to it but I thought let me see if I like it the way it is and get you guys opinion if you like this uh, and how it turned out please comment below and don't forget to like if I can get at least 10 likes I appreciate it okay guys we're coming up toward the end of this project and I'm going to show you what it looked like see there we go they cute. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again, Casey and Heidi. This was a fun challenge. Thanks again.